do set number six for our daily math quiz. Number one, negative five raised to three. Hindi included ang negative sign dito kasi sa rule of exponent sa mga negative base, yung number lang mismo ang ni-raise unless, like example, unless kung in-enclose siya ng parenthesis tsaka nag-exponent siya. Yan included na yung negative sign. Ngayon, dito, sa given, hindi included yung negative sign. Bali, negative 1, 5 times 5 times 5. So, ito, 25. 25 times 5, 125 times negative 1. So, ang sagot ay negative 125. Letter D. Para sigurado tayo, i-calculator natin. That is negative 5 raised to 3. I-raise muna natin itong mga parenthesis para mas klaro lang. So, negative 5 raised to 3. The answer is negative 125. So, ang sagot natin na letter D ay tama. Number 2. Negative 11, yung negative mismo, negative 11 raised to 2 or squared, ang answer dyan ay positive. 11 times 11 and that is 121. So, letter A ang sagot. I-double check natin sa calculator natin. Negative 11 Tapos, close parenthesis, squared. Pang-delete natin itong mga extra na parenthesis para klaro lang. So, negative 11, pariho na, in squared. So, the answer is 121, letter A. Number 3, what is the square root of 36? Uh, since no naman na ang square root of 36 is 6, kali hindi nyo alam yung square root ng 36. Just example lang. I-factor out natin siya, and this is 18. Tapos, i-factor out natin si 18. Divide lang natin ng 2 kasi even number siya. Tapos, this will be, uh, ilan ba to? 9. Then, i-factor out natin siya, and this is 3. Iparis natin ito, saka iparis natin yan. 2 times, 2 times 3 Saka si 2 times 3. Palis natin yan. And that is 6. So, ang square root ng 36 ay 6. Number 4. Which of these equations is incorrect? Take note. Which of these equations is incorrect? Bali, hindi tama. Letter A. Square root of 16 plus square root of 3. Tapos ito na. Ina-add lang siya. While... Letter B, square root of 6 times square root of 12 is equals to square root of 6 times 12. Ito ay tama. So, wag na natin isipin itong dalawa. N neither is incorrect. Bali, lahat sila correct. Both are incorrect. Bali, lahat sila incorrect. The answer to this question is letter A. Kasi ito yung wrong. Let's take another example. Para mas klaro lang. Uh, square root of 9 times square root of 9, that is, the answer is, uh, if we will multiply it, 9 times 9 equals square root of 81, so square root of 81 is equals to 9. Tapos, ito, square root of 9 is equals to 3, square root of 9 is equals to 3, pag multiply mo yan ay 9. So, pareho siya, equal. What if, uh, add siya, mag-add tayo. Now, i-add natin 9, uh, square root of 9 plus square root of 9. Bali, 9 plus 9, and that is 18. Square root of 9, 3, square root of 9, 3. Add natin 3 plus 3 equals 6. Ang square root of 18 ay hindi 6. So, hindi sila pareho. Mali siya. Incorrect. So, the answer is letter A. Number 5. What is the square root of 64? The answer is letter C. 
8. Kung sakali hindi nyo alam yung square root ng 64, um, i-factor out mo lang siya. 64, that is 32. Tapos ito, 15, that is 16. 2 dito, 16. And this is 8. Tapos 2, 4. And this is 2. Ilan yung 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 times 2 times 2. 6 na 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pagsama lang yan. Hatiin mo lang. So this is 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8. Ganon din dito. So, ang square root ng 64 ay 8. Meron din po tayong uh, separate na video solving square root in three ways without using calculator. Number 6. The value of 5 at yung exclamation mark na yan is equal to what? Itong exclamation mark na ito sa mundo ng mathematics, ang tawag dyan ay factorial. Factorial of 5, 5 factorial means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Ito yung 5 factorial. So the answer is letter D. Number 7. Alex bought 400 hot dogs for the school picnic. If they were contained in package of 8 hot dogs, how many total packages did he buy? Ang gagawin lang ay i-divide lang 400 divided by 8. And the answer is 50. So, 50 ang packages. The answer is letter B. Number 8. While preparing for a dessert, Sue started by using 12 oranges of chocolate in her receipt. Later, she added 10 more oranges for flavor. What was the total amount of chocolate that Sue ended up using? 12 oranges. Plus 10 more. So, i-add mo lang. You have 22 oranges. Now, ilan bang oranges ang 1 pound? There are 16 oranges in 1 pound. So, 22 minus 16... And you will have 6. So, bali, itong 16, ang sagot dito ay 1 pound. Kasi yung 16, equivalent siya na 1 pound. Tapos, 22 minus 16, you have 1 pound and 6 oranges. So, the answer is letter D. Ulitin ko para mas malinaw lang. Ang given... While preparing a dessert, Sue started by using 12 oranges, 12. Tapos, later, she added 12, I, I mean 10 more oranges for flavor, plus 10. So, lahat-lahat, 22 na. What was the total amount? Inat mo lang, total amount. Yan na yung total amount. Kaso sa choices mo, mayroon kang... Mga pound. So, alamin mo kung ang isang pound is equivalent to what? 16 oranges. Ilan ba ang 16 dito sa 22? Isa lang. I-minus lang natin yung isang 16 na yan. And you have 6 oranges. Itong 16 na to equivalent ng 1 pound. Kaya 1 pound and 6 oranges. Number 9. Dan rented two movies to watch last night. The first was 1 hour and 40 minutes long. The second, one hour and 50 minutes long. How much time did it take for Dan to watch the two movies? So, i-add lang natin. One hour, 40 minutes. Yung isa ay one hour, 50 minutes. 40. 90 minutes. Tapos, two hours. Sa isang oras, ilan ang minuto? 60. Mag-minus tayo ng 60 dito. 60 minutes. This is equivalent to 1 hour. So, 30 minutes. Itong 1 hour na to, i-add mo dito sa 2 hours. That is 3 hours. So, ang total hours na nag, nanunood siya ng dalawang uh, movies, 3 hours and 30 minutes. 3 hours and 30 minutes. Ang 30 minutes, that is equivalent to 0.5 hour. So, 3.5. The answer is letter B.
3.5 hours. Number 10. During a fundraiser, each of the 35 members of the group sold candy bars. If each member sold an average of 6 candy bars, how many total bars did the group sell? 35 times 6 lang yan. Each man member sold 6 candy bars. Yung each na yan itong 35 members. So each 35 members mayroong anim na candy bar. So, i-multiply mo lang. 35 times 6, that is 210. So, the answer is letter D.